Shut up and sit down. Hey you Skellywags, just an update on the exclusive figures from Toys Alliance who posted this earlier. Acid Rain World 2021 limited edition products will be launched in Wonder Festival 2021, Shanghai Exhibition, Hong Kong 2021 ACG, Taiwan 2021 TTF and PeerClub.com. The following is the sales method of Wonder Festival 2021 Shanghai Exhibition. Uh, Wonder Festival 2021 Shanghai Acid Rain World 2021 limited edition products available at TA booth blah 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 quantity 150 per item for every day while stocks last so although this is limited to Wonder Festival um, it looks like it will be available in other places too as well as Peer Club later so there is a chance we'll be able to pick these up uh, from Peer Club at some point um, in, I don't know when um, I know there was a stealth Talos figure that was exclusive to one of these um, shows before and now is available as well through Peer Club in fact I've uh, just ordered mine uh, through a UK seller thankfully but I was going to order it from uh, Peer Club the stealth Talos so looking good in terms of being able to acquire these so fingers crossed not going to be so limited in terms of us um, over in the West and elsewhere trying to acquire these uh, uh, these awesome figures. So here is the Shadow of Asamite uh, and so a little description, a little description here. The Shadow of Asamite is a mysterious paramilitary group infamous for attacking trade convoys across the continent but never robbing any cargo on their escapades. To this day, nobody has ever unearthed the motives behind their eerie attacks. Acid Rain World 118 series, limited edition products, 2021 Expos, uh, featuring six random weapon combinations, which is interesting. So I really do like the design of this. It does look like um, Kelsey or Tamara, but just in all black and um, yeah right up my alley exactly kind of what I would want from this kind of figure I've got Kelsey we're doing a, a video one at some point soon I've um, already filmed a bit of it but yeah this would be awesome in a collection and here is Valdo so on the Omangan battlefield losing a limb or two is no excuse to retire from the front lines cybernetic prosthetic technologies can reforge disabled soldiers with metallic bodies. The captain of Omanga's southern border patrol, Valdo, was given the devil's mechanical arm to better defend the frontiers. He dyed his sinful arm orange to remind himself of all the blood it spilled. He covered this arm with a glove whenever he was away from the battlefield, concealing the orange, orange from the general public. So yeah, this figure is quite sought after. Um, Cod MB Smoke from uh, Instagram, who actually uh, featured on one of these news things, you should be following him right now, um, had told me a bit about the history of this figure and how Kit Lau had posted up on this quite a while back. So a lot of hardcore Acid Rain um, fans have been waiting for the release of this figure and luckily it will be available, um, hopefully, actually to, to, to all of us. Um, not just in these uh, expos. So this is the 1-6 scale um, figure that Kit Lau posted um, a while back that Cod MB Smoke um, sent me to look at. Uh, so this was the original idea um, for him and obviously they've scaled it down to 118 scale. And here's the exclusive Luggins Nana. The famous mascot of Neo Atlantis Nana often appears in a company's celebrations and promotional activities. Only insiders know that beneath the iconic costume, Nana is an elite security agent ready to counter any sabotage Neo Atlantis may face. Awesome little uh, backstory there for this Luggins then. Nana, Neo Atlantis. So here's the halogen jeep no sort of description for this at all um, and yeah with all these things um, i've no idea how much they're going to cost maybe a bit more than your average who knows 
but at least uh, we've got a bit more information there and some hope that we will be able to get these figures um, at some point, maybe in the future, hopefully before the end of the year at least, or sooner, <laughs> fingers crossed. So that's it for now, it looks like it's starting already, little uh, bits of news, more of it coming out here and there. So uh, go ahead on TBG's channel, we'll probably do, be doing an update on this stuff and I'll do something maybe a bit later on on the weekend too, otherwise I'll just scale you later. <laughs>